Hi, I'm Raghav from Automation Step by Step and welcome to this beginner's tutorial on Cypress. In this session, I'm going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn how to create our first Cypress test. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started. And the very first step is we have to create a file which will be our test file under the integration folder under our Cypress project folder. So let me go to my Visual Studio code and in the earlier session, we created a project. We also installed Cypress and set up a Cypress project. And here you can see we have a Cypress folder and under this we have a integrations folder. If I go to integration folder, there is also an examples folder that has some example test files. For now, I'm just going to delete the examples folder and I just now have these four folders under the Cypress folder. I will go to the integrations folder and here I'm going to create a new file so I can do a right click and say new file or I can just select the folder and click on this new file icon and here let us say I will call this file as my first test and I can say dot js so this is going to be a javascript file and hit enter and you can see the file is created here and we have got the file editor here so we have done step number one step number two is at the top of this file I will mention triple slashes and say reference types equals cypress so what does this mean is let me show you I will say triple slashes and I will say reference types equals and I will say cypress and then I will close this so here by doing this I am telling the program to allow auto completion in this script or in this file from the cypress library or the cypress node package so it becomes very handy and very useful all the auto completion or code completion will be done according to the cypress library or the cypress package now uh, let me also increase the font you can go to settings and go to settings here and i can just search for font and you can see here under text editor we have font and i can change the font from here let me make it 20 and if i go back and yes i hope this is now very clear to you uh, i will close the settings tab or let me go back to settings and uh, let me say 22 should be fine so it is very clear to you yes this should be fine now i have done step number two step number three is we need some test runner to write our tests and we are going to use mocha Mocha is a test runner which comes inbuilt with Cypress so we do not have to do any separate installation so we already have Mocha if you have installed Cypress so now we will go to step number three and we will write our test function so for this I will say it so I am going to use a it function or a it block this is as per our test runner Mocha and I will give brackets here and you can see as I am typing, I am also getting all these auto suggestion and code completion. So you can see this is a mocha function and this is how we create a test or a it block for a test. And inside this it function, I will give the name of the test or the title of the test. So I will say this is Google test. Let me say what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to google.com and then I will type something on this text box as my first test. Now do not worry this is a very simple demo. In the coming sessions I will show you demo on some different applications but for starting let us go with google.com. So I will say this is google test the title is google test and then I will give a comma and now I will say function and this is how we create a function in javascript and then curly brackets and I can go to the next line now a different way of calling a function is you can also say give brackets here like this and then give a equals and a arrow sign so this is also a way of 
calling or declaring a function let me go back with the traditional way of using function that is I will say function brackets and then a curly bracket start and a curly bracket stop and this is the end of the it block now inside this I can start typing my cypress commands so for that I will say cy or sci and give a dot so sci is the object of cypress and it is like a gateway to all the cypress commands I will say cy dot and you can see and now step number four is we can now run our test by using the command npx cypress open so let me just save everything I will press ctrl s on my keyboard you can press command s if you are on mac and now I will go to terminal you can see you can go to terminal from here and I am already here so I will say npx cypress open and hit enter and let us see now it should open our cypress ui and here you can see it is showing one pass zero failed and not run is also zero or none and then this is the time taken it is a huge time I will check what exactly is the issue but for now let us see this we have pass fail and not run the time taken and this is just for scrolling or disable auto scrolling you can refresh or run all the tests from here so if I click on this you can see it is running my test again and I think this is fine this time it took 0, 0 0.91 seconds and here is the command window where we can see all the commands or it is also called as command log and you can see our application here and this is something great in Cypress that you can see all your commands and your application side by side if I hover over the command you can also see the DOM snapshot here so you can see if I click here it is showing me the DOM snapshot and we are able to run our very first simple Cypress test now let us see what happens if I make any changes to my test so let me go here let me go back to my Visual Studio code and here uh, let me do something or make some mistake here so this is the website which may not be existing or this is not the correct website uh, or let me say yeah let me just save this and you will see as soon as I save or click on control s it has started re-executing my test case and you can see it is gone to this website which is a different website of course we are getting passed because we have not done any kind of assertion or we are not going to any other step after this so it is showing pass but it is running it again so as soon as I save my test case and I have made some changes it will rerun the test case and this is a very good feature in Cypress and just in case you want to disable this feature you can go to your cypress.json and make watch for file changes as false by default it is true so if I go to my cypress.json as of now it is empty and I can say here watch for file changes and it is by default true I can make it as false for now let me keep it as true because I want to run the test on every change and then there are other configurations like wait times and different things that you can do in cypress.js and go back to my first test case and let me go back to google.com and let me now run this again now in the on the terminal I will press ctrl c so I will terminate the current job and I will run cypress open again and now I will go to my test case so it will run the test again let me run this again from here so this is fine now so our test is running and we have done step number four now let us see how we can access the elements and do some action on the elements or the objects on the web page so I will go back to my browser where I have my commands and my application from Cypress now if you see 
Here, there is a open selector playground button and if I click this, I can hover over any of the objects on my web page and it is highlighting. Now I want to do some action on this search box or this search text box. I will click here and you can see here it has given us a locator. Now dot means this is the class of this particular object. Let me also show you if I go to google.com and if I do a right click on this search box and say inspect. You can see it highlights this area which is corresponding to the properties and location of this search box and here you can see this is the class glfyf and this is exactly what cypress has used and dot means class if it is id that is available it can use hash here and it has given us the complete command actually so you can see we can use cy.contains or cy.get and i will just copy it from here you can print to console or just copy to clipboard. I can copy from here, go back to my Visual Studio code and in the next line, I will paste it. So I am saying here cy.get and this is the locator. So with this, it will be able to locate this object and after this, I have to do some action that is I have to type something. So I will say dot type and you can see I am getting auto completion. And here in the bracket, I will give the text I want to type. Let us say I want to say automation step by step. And I will save this. As I save, it will rerun my test and you can see it is rerunning. Let me refresh or run again. And yes, you can see it is now typing automation step by step and everything is passed. You can now appreciate how easy it is with Cypress. You can go and see each and every action. So on typing of every key, we have got all these commands and you can hover over these commands and you can see everything on the screen as well. And then if I go to the main command that is type and if I come here, you can see before and after screenshot. So what was the state of the application before and after this command? You can hide highlights, you can close, you can see the DOM snapshot, everything you can do from here. So let me run this again and see what happens. It goes and types automation step by step. But after this, we have to click on the search button or in general, we press enter. Let me do that. So I will say here, I can just say, I will give curly brackets and use enter command. So here I'm just saying enter and if I now go and see, and yes, let me run this again to show you. I will refresh and it is typing and pressing enter and going to the search result page of this search. And you can see all the commands log here. So we have also accessed or located the elements and also have done some actions on the elements or the objects. So the commands that we have learned today is sci.visit to go to any of the URL of or the web page, sci.get to access or locate any object. We have also seen the type command that is used after sci.get or after locating any element and then we can say type and whatever text we want to type. We can use click again after locating an element, we can do the click action. I hope now you will remember these very basic commands forever. And this is just the starting. Cypress has so many awesome commands that we are going to learn in the coming sessions. And I hope that will be really, really interesting for you. You can always take the Cypress quiz on my website automationstepbystep.com and I hope all this was very useful for you. I will see you in the next episode of Cypress. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.